Hello, you are welcome to solve for any hand in this nice algebra equation from here. It's important to note that here m will be greater than n. For this to be true here, then since m is greater than n, then we can write m to be equals to n plus the number, let it be k. So what we have here, now we can write it as 2 raised to power n plus k now, then minus 2 raised to power n, we can say this is now equals to 1984 from what is given here. Then from there, here we apply the law of indices when we have a raised to power m plus n, the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. That is here, we have this as 2 raised to power n multiplied by 2 raised to power k, then minus 2 raised to power n. Now equals to 1984 from here. And from what we have here, we have 2 raised to power n common. Let's factor that out. Then we have 2 raised to power n into bracket. What is left here, we have 2 raised to power k. Then what is left here, we have minus 1. Now equals to 1984. You are watching Master T Math class. If you are enjoying this class, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Now, from here, let's separate 1984 as 64 times 31. That is, here we have 2 raised to power n multiplied by 2 raised to power k minus 1, then equals to here we can write it as 64 multiply by 31 and from here this 2 raised to power n is an even number from here why this is an odd number and also here we have this as even and uh, here also this is odd number from here then it implies that we can equate 2 raised to power n equals to 64 and also we equate 2 raised to power k minus 1 equals to 31 and from here we can write 64 as 2 raised to power 6 then here we have 2 raised to power n equals to 2 raised to power 6 here and since we have same base here we can equate the power, then n here is equal to 6. Then, to get the value of n, we need to get k first. Then we take minus 1 to this place, we become plus. So we have 2 raised to power k, now equals to 31 plus 1, which is 32. And here, 32 can be written as 2 raised to power 5. Then we have... 2 raised to power k here, now equals to 2 raised to power 5. And we also have same base, we equate the power, then we have k here equals to 5. Then, since we have m is equals to n plus k here, then we can get m using this. And here we have m will now be equals to n plus k where our n is 6 and k is 5 so we have m equals to 6 plus 5 which implies that we have m to be equals to 11 from here so we have m equals to 11 and n equals to 6 and for what we have here to check if this satisfies the given problem we can substitute the value of m and n, that is we have m to be equals to 11 and uh, n to be equals to 6. So here we have 2 raised to power 11 
minus 2 raised to the power 6 with this way equals to 1984 then here 2 raised to the power 11 same thing as 2 multiplied by 7 11 times which will give us 2048 then minus 2 raised to the power 6 2 multiplied by 7 6 times that's 64 is the same thing as 1984 then here when we subtract this from here we have 1984 which is the same thing as 1984 now we have left hand side equals to right hand side and then from here we have m equals to 11 n equals to 6 satisfies this given problem so thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe to my channel for more videos and share this video give it a thumbs up see you next class and bye for now